Fear Allah, O slaves of Allah, and be shy towards Him with the correct shyness. For indeed, it is one of the most honorable and moral characteristics which our religion of monotheism invites to. So much so that the Prophet wasallam informed us in the narration collected by Ibn Majah on the authority of Anas ibn Malik radiallahu ta'ala an and graded as a good hadith by Shaykh al-Albani rahimahullahu ta'ala inna li kulli deenin khuluqan wa khuluqul islam al-haya indeed for every religion is a moral characteristic and the moral characteristic of Islam is shyness this is why it is upon us to understand that shyness is one of the greatest branches of Iman. As the Prophet وسلم, informed us in the hadith collected by At-Tirmidhi, Ibn Majah, and mentioned in Adab al-Mufrad of Imam al-Bukhari, and Shaykh al-Albani rahimahullah ta'ala mentions its authenticity. Al-Haya min al-Iman wal-Iman fil-Jannah. Shyness is from Iman, and Iman is in paradise. Therefore, whomsoever finds this characteristic of shyness with their children, or their family members, or their companions, then it is upon them to leave them upon this noble, praiseworthy manners, and to encourage them to continue being shy. This is because the Prophet ﷺ was passing by an Ansari man, who was admonishing his brother for being too shy. So when the Prophet ﷺ saw this, he said to the Ansari man, Da'ahu fa inna al haya min al iman. Leave him alone, for indeed shyness is from faith. So this is why the Prophet ﷺ said in the narration, which is found in the two authentic collections of Imam al Bukhari and Imam Muslim. On the authority of Imran ibn Hussein radiallahu ta'ala an, al-haya la yati illa bi khair. Shyness does not come except with good. Likewise, my believing brothers and sisters in al-Islam, rahimakumullah, the one who is shy with Allah will take account of himself and would strive to utilize the favors of Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala in obedience, not upon sins, and transgression. These are the ones when they commit any indecency or wrong themselves, they instantly remember Allah wa ta'ala and they seek His forgiveness for their sins. And who is it that forgives sins other than Allah wa ta'ala? They do not persist in the wrong they had committed. <laughs> وَجَنَّاتٌ تَجْرِي مِنْ تَحْتِهَا الْأَنْهَارِ خَالِدِينَ فِيهَا وَنِعْمَ أَجْرُ الْعَامِلِينَ They shall be recompensed with forgiveness from their Lord Tabaraka wa ta'ala and granite gardens beneath it rivers are flowing therein they shall abide forever and how good is the reward for the one who earnestly works Likewise, the shy believer is the one who is always striving to perfect the way he nurtures his children, being thoughtful and mindful of his actions and statements in front of them. He is ashamed if it is they see him involved in acts of impermissibility, using drugs, cursing, lying, stealing, or any affair which is despicable and unpraiseworthy in Islam. He doesn't walk around arrogant, nor does he teach them to break the law. Similarly, the shy believer fulfills his promises and covenants with the people, and he does not deceive them as it relates to their blood, wealth, and honor. He strives hard to return the rights he owes to them. If he borrows their money, he works hard and sacrifices to repay them. The shy believer is always honest knowing that the Lord of the world possesses the ability to see and hear everything he does. He taught us to stay away from every evil deed because he alayhi salatu wasalam was shy. 
This is why Abu Sa'id al Khudri radiallahu ta'ala an said in the narration found in the two authentic collections of Imam al Bukhari and Imam Muslim, Kana Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ashadda hayaan min al adhra'i fi khidriha. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was more shy than a virgin girl in seclusion. Even as it relates to the affairs of the religion, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was so shy, he never used terminologies that was harmful or immoral when speaking about certain affairs. There is a perfect example which is found in the authentic collections of Imam al-Bukhari and Imam Muslim on the authority of Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha where it is a woman came to him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and asked how does a woman make ghusl after menstruation? How does a woman take a ritual bath? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to her khudhi firsatan min maskin fatatahhari biha take a piece of cloth scented with musk and purify yourself with it qalat kayfa atatahhar she asked him again o messenger of allah how do i purify myself qalat atatahhari biha he said again purify yourself with it qalat kayf qala subhanallah tatahhari she asked him again, O Messenger of Allah, how do I purify myself with it? He said, Subhanallah, purify yourself with it. Then our mother Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha pulled her away and told her to follow the traces of blood with it. Likewise, we see from the example of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, shyness towards the companions radiallahu anhum, even in his own home, not even wanting to utter a word that may cause them harm. Allah the Mighty and the Majestic informed us in his book, فَإِذَا تُعِمْتُمْ فَانْتَشِرُوا وَلَا مُسْتَأْنِسِينَ لِحَدِيثِ إِنَّ ذَلِكُمْ كَانَ يُؤْذِ النَّبِيِّ فَيَسْتَحْيِ مِنْكُمْ When you are finished with your meal, it is upon you to disperse. Do not linger in idle talk that causes harm to the Prophet. For indeed, he does not express it out of shyness. This is why Allah, the mighty and the majestic, informed us concerning the praiseworthy moral characteristic of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when he said, Wa innaka la ala khulukin adim. And indeed, you, O Messenger of Allah, are of high moral conduct. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan rajim Laqad kana lakum fi rasulillahi uswatun hasana لمن كان يرجو الله واليوم الآخر وذكر الله كثيرا. Surely there was a good example for you in the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم for all those who hope for Allah and the last day and remember Allah much. بارك الله لي ولكم في القرآن العظيم ونفعني وإياكم من البيان وذكر الحكيم. أقول هذا القول واستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين من كل ذنب. فاستغفروه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله لفضله وإحسانه وأشكره على توفيقه وامتنانه وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله فتقوا الله عباد الله واعلموا أن الحياة مطلوب من كل مسلم ومسلمة have taqwa, O slaves of Allah, and know that shyness is needed from every Muslim, whether male or female. However, as it relates to the Muslim sister, then the affair is even more serious to her being shy. For indeed, shyness is honor and nobility for the Muslim woman. This is the reason Allah wa ta'ala informed us concerning the two daughters of Shu'aib. وَجَدَ عَلَيْهِ أُمَّةً مِنَ النَّاسِ يَسْقُونَ When it is that Musa alayhi salam arrived at the spring of Madian, he found there a crowd of men watering their flocks. وَوَجَدَ مِن دُونِهِمْ مِنْ بْرَأَتَيْنِ تَذُودَانِ And he found there two women holding back their flocks. 
قَالَ مَا خَطُبُكُمَا He said to them, What is wrong with you all? قَالَتَا لَا نُسْكِ حَتَّى يُسْتِرَ الرِّعَعُ وَأَبُونَ شَيْخٌ كَبِيرٌ They said, We cannot give our flocks water until the shepherds move away, and our father is a very old man. Then Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala informs us two verses after. فَجَاءَتُ إِحْدَاهُمَا تَمْشِ أَلَسْتِحْيَا One of the two women came forth to Musa alayhi salam walking shyly. قَالَتْ إِنَّ أَبِي يَدْعُوكَ لِيَجَزِيكَ أَجْرَ مَا سَقَيْتَ لَنَا She said, Indeed, our father invites you so he may reward you for watering our flocks for us. These particular verses make clear the excellent nurturing, mannerism, and shyness of these two women. Look at how they chose to be patient and wait for the men to finish giving their flocks water before watering their own flocks. They chose not to expose themselves to fitna of being in a crowd with men. Similarly, it is upon the Muslim women today to be like these two women in preserving their character and mannerism. Allah wa ta'ala has even informed us of how the Muslim woman should walk. They should not stamp their feet on the ground in such a manner which make their hidden adornments become revealed. Then know, O sister, it is also legislated upon you shyness as it relates to your voice. Allah wa ta'ala informed us in his book, Ya Nisa al Nabi, Lastunna ka ahadim mina Nisa, in a takaytunna fala takdarna bil kaul, Fayatma al Ladi fi kalbihi maradun wa kulna kaula marufa. O wives of the prophets, you are not like other women. If you fear Allah, do not be complacent in your speech, otherwise, those with diseased hearts should desire you. But rather, Speak in a straightforward manner. Ahlul Ilm, the people of knowledge, mentioned that if this was the command of Allah to the wives of the Prophet وسلم, whom he wa ta'ala chose from the purest women upon the earth, then this command takes precedence upon other Muslim women whose moral values are nowhere close to the wives of the Prophet Likewise, Islam directs our Muslim sister to what shyness as it relates to their clothing. As Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala informs us, Ya ayyuhan nabi, kulli azwajika wa banatika wa nisa'il mu'mineen, yudnina alayhinna min jalabi bihin, thalika adana ay yu'rafna fala yu'dhain, wa kana Allahu ghafoorur rahima. O Prophet, enjoin upon your wives and your daughters and the believing women, to pull their outer garments over themselves. It is better that they be recognized as free believing women so that they may not be molested. And Allah wa ta'ala is most forgiving and most merciful. Similarly, it is upon our Muslim sisters to be shy with the type of shyness that Islam has brought as it relates to staying in the homes. As Allah wa ta'ala informs us in his book, وَقَرْنَ فِي بُيُوتِكُنْ And remain in your homes. And the Muslim sister is required to be shy as it relates to exposing her beauty. As Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala forbids her when it is that he said, وَلَا تَبَرَّجْنَ تَبَرُّجَ الْجَاهِلِيَّةِ الْأُولَى And do not go about exposing yourselves as the women in the time of jahiliyyah, ignorance, used to expose themselves. Lastly, my beloved brothers and sisters in Al-Islam, Rahimakumullah. I mentioned the beautiful story and example of shyness related to the black woman with epilepsy, which is found in the authentic collection of Imam al Bukhari, an Imam Muslim, and the authority of Abdullah ibn Abbas, anhuma, where it is he said, This black lady came to the Prophet وسلم, and said, Inni usra'u wa inni atakashaf li. I get attacks of epilepsy and my body becomes uncovered. Please supplicate to Allah for me. The Prophet ﷺ said, In shi'ti sabarti walakil jannah, wa in shi'ti da'utullah and yuafiq. 
If you wish, be patient and you will attain paradise. And if you wish, I will ask Allah wa ta'ala to cure you. She said, Asbir, I will remain patient. Inni atakashaf fadu'ullaha li and la atakashaf fadu'alaha. However, I become uncovered. So please supplicate to Allah that my body may not become exposed. So the Prophet wasallam supplicated for her. My believing brothers and sisters, contemplate on this example. Without doubt, patience upon sickness in this temporary world for everlasting bliss in paradise is a worthy bargain. However, the example to consider here is how she became pleased with being patient upon sickness even though she had a legislative excuse for allowing herself to be exposed. But out of her shyness, she still requested the Prophet wasallam to supplicate to Allah not to expose her body. This is indeed a pure heart and a high moral praiseworthy character. Therefore fear Allah the mighty and the majestic with regards to your wives, your mothers, your brothers and sisters and nurturing your children upon the characteristics of shyness. Indeed, this is a responsibility upon the Muslim men as Allah wa ta'ala informed us in his book, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu, ku anfusakum wa ahlikum nara, wa quduha al-nasu wal hijara, alayha malaikatun ghilathun shidad, la ya'asuna Allah ma amarahum, wa yaf'aluna ma yu'maroon. O believers, save yourselves and your family from the fire of hell, where men, women and stone are its fuel. There are angels who strictly guard it, the hellfire, and who do not disobey what Allah has commanded them with, but they do as they are told.